It's time to start cable managing this beast. Step number one is to get all the monitor cables to go through the hole on the stand. So there we go. Cables are now through for the monitors. Uh, they're all plugged in as well, but these right here are the excess that I will Velcro. Uh, and then the power cables, you can kind of see right over there. That's them dangling for their life. Uh, I'm going to, instead of drilling into this cheap ass desk, which will most likely fall apart, and I know there are easy ways to do it, uh, I'm just going to Velcro the power strips, which should work because if I put two of those big ass ones on it, uh, it should work. They're, they're little six ports, so uh, should work well and also use that for my switch and things like that. But really, there's not a lot of cables. I kept all this plugged in because I've been listening to music. Um, but you can kind of see like how nice it's, it's actually going to look. Uh, if you just pretend that that's in the Signum, it's it's very clean. So I like it so far, so good. Uh, the one power cable is just like a little, little itty bit and I hope that it plugs in because it comes from all the way over here, which is weird. I don't know if I had a longer cable for this. I don't know. Regardless, I could always buy a longer cable, but I just want it to work on first try. All right, new lights are installed. They're doing, uh, doing their job. This whole thing is very well lit right now. All right, so I got the pieces on there and then I put it on here as well. So technically, you just, whoops, let me do it like that. Boom, it's on there. It's on there pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. So uh, with this cable elevated, it shouldn't have much tug, so it should stay up there. So let's uh, plug these thingies in. This is the one that I was worried about because it was the shortest. Get in there, you bitch. Oh, thank God. So now that's mounted and uh, we're good there. All right, guys, I'm about to apply this frosted glass spray to the windows on the door, only the door, not the other windows. And uh, it should have a semi-transparent finish, which should be pretty interesting. Now, I don't know how to use it. I didn't look it up. I'm just going to do it because YOLO. Um, you guys know the Matt Philly way is the wrong way. So let's do it the wrong way. Here we go. All right, I got it all cleaned and all taped out. So now I just spray, I think, I don't know. Let's go for it. It's only after the second coat now and you can like really see, I don't know if it's showing up on camera that well, but like that is tinted, like for rizzle, you cannot see through it. I mean, it's a little blotchy, but it's supposed to, I think. So while that's drying, let's quickly talk, shall we? So I had an idea of uh, you know putting this light up to kind of solve the big soft box issues, which has worked. I, I love the lighting in here because it doesn't just cast perfectly on the quote unquote set, but even over here, it does a pretty damn good job. But uh, I do have these lights, so that's, that's all good. But uh, I have to say, there has been an issue all along, and it's not just the reflection on the TV from the soft boxes, but it's these goddamn shadows that are annoying me. So I was like, okay, let's solve that. Let's put right here something that just casts right there, kills the shadows, same for over there, bada bing, bada boom, all solved. And then I was like, that's gonna look awful. So here's how we solve the issue. My dad had an idea. He said, let's do this. If you wanna solve that issue, let's get rid of the shelves. I was like, what? <laughs> You're kidding me, right? Let's take the shelves off. We can rearrange them over here to fill up this space. I even said, okay, that's a good idea because we could put like that shelf over there, put the lightsabers and the other shelves right there and it'll look all nice. And I can still use that as a set. But then he said, let's put two big ass posters here. Let's put one big poster here and one big poster here. And it will basically be a custom poster. That way you don't have to worry about the shadows and it's just a good set because at the end of the day, it's a set, it needs to look good on camera. It's as simple as that. I was like, you know what? That's actually not a bad idea at all. I mean, it's it kind of kills me because it's like, oh, this is how I dreamed of it from the beginning. But I'd rather not have to deal with those cr those really grainy black spots uh, from the shadows. So I thought about it and I think, uh, I think I'm gonna go forward with it. But I am gonna put two big posters, like I said, and one of them is going to be a swashing poster that I designed. I already have a design from a previous poster that I did like two years ago. And it's going to look epic. Uh, it's going to be very simple, but epic. Uh, and then over here, I actually wanted to ask if any of you guys are artists. And when I say that, I mean like you've done digital artwork before that's like really, really good. Basically, I was thinking of like me as a cartoon character standing in front with tons of flamingos behind me. And it's like 
the Flamingo Squad. Kind of like a movie poster, but not. Uh, you you kind of get what I'm saying, I hope. Um, but if any of you guys are artists, let me know. Send me your work, and I will uh, hire one of you. I'll pay you guys to make it. So it's got to be a big poster. So it's got to be a vector. Guys, a vector, please. So yeah, I'll still put the pictures underneath of like me at Disneyland and me with all my friends that I have. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, it, it, it's a lot, but it's also like something we should do. And if I do it, it'll just make my life easier at the end of the day. So share your thoughts down below in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Also, this is looking really good. I just did the last coat, so it's still kind of drying. Um, over here, I actually did it, and you cannot see outside at all. Let me show you where I'm leaving off with the cables. I ran out of these things, which really kind of screwed me up for today because I was going to get uh, a lot more done. But I'll pick some up tomorrow, and uh, it's looking good under here. These cables are just from the audio system. Super easy to fix. A little bit of Velcro, throw them in the Signum. Uh, and then uh, same for the power cable, so on and so forth. But the monitors are plugged in, so they have power. They're actually connected to the computer as well, so that's great. Uh, I just need to Velcro these up as well, and I'll shove them in the Signum. So that's good. Not a lot left to do as far as that, but I still need to uh, put like the switch under there and get that going. So, I mean, really by tomorrow this should look pretty epic, which I'm happy about. Uh, and then I have to start running cables for stuff like the mixer and so on and so forth. But for now. It's looking good. I just ran out of those damn Velcro things, so oh well. Anyways, guys, I'm going to end it here since I want to get this up hopefully today. Uh, so let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Let me know if you're an artist. Thanks for watching, guys. If you got this far into the video, go ahead and write Flamingo Squad Unite. Don't forget, I'm Matt Billy. You're not. Get under my face. Have a great day, and I'll catch you on the flippity flip. Bye. See ya. Okay, bye. bye.